Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. We're in the month of November. I want to welcome you to the month of November. Even though there are only two months left in the year, I want to encourage you that you still have time to fulfill everything that God has ordained for you to fulfill in 2019. Now, this is a very difficult time of the year for many people. Yes, it's a time of holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas, but also it is a time that people reflect and look back on who is not with them and what has happened. And I can hear the devil saying that you have not done everything you were supposed to have done this year. Well, I want you to take courage. The psalmist says this, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The enemy wants you to faint. He wants you to believe it's never going to happen for you. But he's a liar and he's the father of it. Think about that. Satan is the father of lies. Why, why would we ever listen to him? But we do and we get discouraged. In the month of November, I want to talk about this man, Lazarus. And we're going to study St. John chapter 11. And I believe it is going to be an incredible encouragement for us to move into another year and also into another decade. So I want you to listen. And again, I welcome you to the month of November. May this be the best month in the history of your life. Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. Welcome back to your Acts Ministry podcast. We're talking about St. John chapter 11. We're studying the resurrection of Lazarus. And we start in verse 1, starting the whole chapter, keeping it in context, and if you need to go back and listen to any of the podcasts, you can. I'm going to start right here at verse number 21. Now, Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. That's a powerful statement. She just said to Jesus, if you hadn't been late, if you'd have been here, we sent for you. We know you got the message. But you didn't come. And she expresses the sentiments of our heart so many times in life, even though we don't say it, because we got the word of God. We, we have the story of Lazarus. We have this. But they expected Jesus to come before Lazarus died. They sent for him. He did not come. And then he had the audacity to say to his disciples that he was glad for their sakes, that he was not there, that they were not there, that Lazarus died. Because now we're going to see what's going to happen. And we're going to see the glory of God that is going to be revealed. So we talked about that. I'm going to start reading. I'm going to start reading at verse uh, 22. These verses are so powerful that we could spend almost a, a broadcast, a podcast, just on one verse. In verse 22, it says, but even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Now, that's, that's Martha. Martha makes a statement, and I don't know if she understood the magnitude of the statement that she made. I don't know if she understood this. She just told the Lord Jesus, if you ask for him to be healed now, he will be healed now. She says this, and, and it, is, it must be directed by the Spirit because we're going we're gonna to see her. She's going to contradict this in a few minutes in the conversation with Jesus. But right here, she says, Look, she says to Jesus, hey, whatever you ask, even now. Yeah, you was four days late. But if you ask, whatever you ask now, that's another dimension. That's another dimension that... that she sees Jesus in at this time. Now she's gonna, 
she's going to renege on all of this. She, she's going to, she, a few minutes from now, you're going to see that her whole conversation is going to change. So she's talking to Jesus, and she just said to Jesus in so many words, I know now that you, you can resurrect him. She didn't use those words, but she said, whatever God, whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Think about that. But even now, that's a powerful statement. And I think that things are revealed in our spirit. But when it comes to just carnal thinking, we're trying to figure it out and we can't figure it out. And then we just reverse what we have already said. She just, this is an incredible statement of faith. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Now, the but even now is based on what, what she said previously. What she said previously was, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. If you had been here, he would still be alive. But even now, and I believe that all of us, if we keep living, we're going to have a but even now situation. We're going to have a situation that happened in our lives that, that it looks like, Everything is done, it's hopeless, it is over. But she says, but even now. Now the now she's talking about is after the fact. After the fact that he's dead. After the fact that you, you, you didn't show up when we sent for you. But even now. And I, I believe some of us are, we're looking at a but even now situation. But even now situation. What do you mean by that? What we pray to God to do. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Acts Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in xministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. It didn't get done. And we think it is over. We think it has gone to the point that it's so bad, nothing can resolve that situation, that marriage, that, that sickness, that, that debt, and we think that it's over. We've got a dead situation on our hands, and it can be dead in many ways. It can be dead in many ways. We could be dead in debt. We could be dead in, dead in relationships. So many, so many things in our lives can die. But Martha just told us, but even now. And we got to get that in our spirit. We got to get in our spirit that, but, but even now. We are worshiping and praying to a God that is omnipotent. That means he has all power. All power. All power in heaven and the earth. So even now, even though it looks hopeless, even though it looks like it's too late, and that's what I want to say, because it looked like it was too late. It was a four days too late. You're four days too late, Jesus. If you was going to fix this, you should have fixed it four days ago. And we look like the time for fixing it is over. It's too late for you to fix it now. But Martha says, but even now. Even though what I was praying for not to happen, and it has happened, but even now. Whatever you ask of God, God will give it you. Now, now this, is, this is very, very important. Very, very important. This can lift us out of the depression or the heaviness that seems to come 
upon many people during this time of year. Thanksgiving, Christmas, and and joyful time of the year. But it is compounded with the sadness of who is not around to celebrate it with us. So it's, 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 a, it's a dreary time of the year for many people. It's a sad time of the year for many people. But I want to tell you, there's a but even now. So when Jesus says this, when, when, Jesus, when Martha says this, Jesus replied. Jesus said in verse 23, and we look like we're going to be going verse by verse because these verse is so powerful. It's so much to glean from each verse. It's so much in each verse that can lift our spirits and help us to recognize that the God we serve is an almighty God. He was known, he was known as the almighty God, your Shaddai, uh, to Abraham. And the one thing that he asked Abraham when Sarah laughed, because, you know, Sarah laughed. I mean, we talking Sarah being 90 and Abraham being 100 and God's talking about you're going to have a child. They thought God was cracking a joke. 90 and 100. And Sarah's saying, I never had a child when I was young. Now I'm, now I'm 90. I'm past the age uh, of, of giving birth. You know, I am I am in the midst of menopause. It, it, it doesn't even happen uh, for me like that anymore. And you're talking about having a child now? And she laughed. But God says to Abraham, is there anything too hard for God? Is it anything? The omniscient God who knows everything did not know anything that was too hard for him. And he, he asked Abraham this, all right? So when we understand who we're serving, yeah, it's November. Yes, we're getting ready to go into December. Yes, these people are not here. Yes, it's a bad situation. Yes, money is funny. Yes, sickness in my body. But you know what? But even now, now that, that, those, are the, those are the words of Martha. She confessed faith. But you're going to see when push comes to shove. She confessed faith, but then once we get to the grave site, it's going to be a different story. Right now, and many times, we, we, we got to be careful that not only must we talk faith and, and, and do our confessions and speak out loud what, what, what God has said. Death and life is in the power of the tongue, so we got to say it. We got to say it because he said it. He said it so I can say it. He said, by his stripes, we were healed. I can say that, that by his stripes, I am healed. Whether I'm, I'm never healed in this life, it doesn't change the truth. The fact is, I died. The truth is, I was healed. So you, you got to get the, and understand the difference there. So Jesus says to her, and I want you to look at this. Jesus says to her in verse 23. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Your brother will rise again. Now, he's getting ready to really stretch her. He's stretching her faith because she made a statement of faith. But even now, whatever you ask of God, God will give it to you. Even though you were late, whatever you ask, God will give it to you. And, and Jesus, says, Jesus says to her, your brother will rise again. Now, we, now we're going to see if, if you really believe what you just said. If you really believe what you just said, and do you really understand what you just said? Because the statement she makes is a powerful statement. But did she really understand what she just said? In, in verse 24, it says, Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. So Martha says to Jesus, I know you'll get up. I, I know you'll rise again. Now, so you, you can see the statement that she made. And this is so very important. Because when we're doing our confessions and we're saying what God, is, God has said in his word, if we're not careful, we will start to undermine the confession that has come out of our mouths that has been inspired 
by the Word of God and the Spirit of the Living God. I want you to just hear that. She's kind of start backing off of this. Now our time, up, our time is up. I want you to continue to listen and continue to study with us because this is going to be a November to remember. A November to remember. You got to believe that. You got to believe that. You got to say that. This is going to be a November like I have never had before. It is going to be a November to remember. Because now we're moving towards the glory of God. God bless you. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Morning Glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday School begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word, join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. At our Conway location, Morning Glory begins at 10 a.m. Sunday School begins at 10.30 a.m. Worship service begins at 11.30 a.m. On Thursday, our Bible class begins at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Axe Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing to the community, communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts Ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. And I'm Jacqueline Stewart. We want to invite you to our program. I am the pastor of Axe Ministries, located in Conway, Arkansas, and also in North Little Rock, Arkansas. So join us every Sunday at 4 p.m. right here on VTN for our Words to Empower television broadcast. Oh, I disrespected my parents at, at home, sir. I've been more of a leader than a follower. I've been trying to help others to stay on the right track. Doing good is not really as hard as you think it is. The Arkansas Youth Challenge is enrolling for young people 16 to 18 years old. If you're having trouble in school or at home, call 1-800-814-8453. We support Second Chances.